Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to more I Love You, Colonel Sanders. Last time we shared a, a very intimate coleslaw. And me, personally, I don't like coleslaw, but if you like coleslaw, good on you. I love peppers and mashed potatoes, and some people don't like them, but hey. One of the framed photos shows an old man who looks like the Colonel Sanders standing with his friend. They hold fried chicken drumsticks and appear to be cherishing them. You look closely and see that there is a short inscription. I wonder who my friend Pete is. We take a closer look at a large urn sitting on a, a nearby pedestal. There's a plaque on it. It's dusty. But when you wipe it off, you can read the inscriptions. It says, here lie the ashes of all my past careers and business failures. Poor guy. Um. Oh, good. I, I thought it was only this. Desi you decide that now is your moment to make a big move. You tell him you're cold. You fess up the truth. And you fess up and tell the truth. Uh, let's make a big move. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This isn't the kind of game. Not to, that we blame you for trying. <laughs> but still. Oh, no. Dang it. Come on. There's like so many fail moments here. Uh, come on.
Like, what is even going on? Oh my god, are you really putting me back over here? I swear, why did they put me back all the way? Uh, come on, dude. I don't know if I can miss something. Uh, if I don't do the same thing. Uh, I think that's it. Uh, let's try fess up. Oh, okay, that result. I think I've developed feelings for you. I might be the. Uh, I might. Oh, okay, it's it's girls. Um, <clears throat> I might be developing feelings for you too, but I'm concerned. I can't let anything get in the way of my dreams. Overwhelmed, you take off the jacket and run to for the door. But the, but, but the thought of leaving Colonel. In the midst of such an emotional breakthrough, gives you pause. You stopped yourself, Colonel. Hmm. Yes, Rocky Kun. I honestly think this might be the beginning of something wonderful. I think you're right. We should take things slow. You talk. L <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is this is getting intense. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I, can't, I couldn't help but like laugh. I couldn't, uh, I couldn't, I couldn't, um, hold in the <laughs> laughter. Oh my god, anyways. <coughs> Back to the story. <coughs> okay, okay. Narrated voice, okay. You talk late into the night and drift off into slumber. Dream sequence. Uh... You wake up to a beautiful morning in Colonel si Sanders' hideaway. Do you make the right decision on how to respond to Colonel Sander? Only time will truly tell. Today is a day that could change the rest of your life. You think about the new secret ingredient you just learned about. In some jurisdictions, mystery isn't even legal but if the recipe is a secret how will they know your thoughts are interrupted when colonel sanders emerges into the room he's holding a gorgeous plated breakfast and your mouth waters at the sight of it here a simple breakfast i i just whipped up it's meticulous Meticulous, I don't know, but uh, fried chicken and some biscuits. I don't think that's a pretty healthy breakfast, if you ask me. You taste Colonel Sanders' food, and it takes you a, on a journey. When you return, he's waiting to ask you, waiting to ask you an important question. So, would you say that we're the perfect match? How presumptuous! My cuisine and your taste buds, that is. Such confidence, such grace. Could he be the world's greatest gift to cookery? T 
kick him down a bit, batter him. You know, I think we might make a good, great team. A single tear begins to pool in the corner of his eye as he gazes out the window. And with that, and with the right business partner, I know I can I can't fail. Business partner, could he be talking to you? It's all happening so quickly. Overcome with emotion and conf and confused by your feelings, you're in you're on the verge of tears, unable to speak. The only answer you can find is to run out the door and get home. There's still more there's still more to the day of school after. After all, the University of S Cooking School Academy for Learning waits for no one. You get home to find something very surprising. Your best friend is there waiting for you. Where have you been? I... Because I had one heck of a night. I've been desperate to talk to you about, about it, but I couldn't find you. I got worried so that something had happened to you. It's okay, I was just... But now that it turns out you're fine, I can finally get to you up to speed on the saga of Miriam. Sure, but... You will not believe to what happened to me after school yesterday. I went on a date. I think I can believe that. Since I've been partnered up with Pop, he asked me to go out with him. Of course, I told him, you'd better harness to those wild horses, young man. I'm not that kind of girl. But he was just interested in spending some one-on-one -on -one time with us, time together, and getting to know me. So I said, yeah, sure, I can get to, to know the, the little guy. Long story short, he took me to his favorite shush house. Is that how you say it? Shush? But things quickly spiraled out of control. Did she say shush house? As if that's a thing people just say? What is that even referring to? <laughs> and now, I'm not really sure where we stand. You don't, you don't give up. You don't give Miriam time to tell her whole story. However, following up the details of your own night is just too much to bear. And I went on a day too, back to Colonel Sanders' house, where I spent the night with him. You what? Nothing happened, but the emotional connection is a wowzers. Miriam offers to, to support you no matter what you do. Together with your bestie, you feel like you can do anything. When you arrive at school, you encounter your arrivals in the quad. You can tell from a distance that they're picking on Pop. Though he himself might not quite grasp that fact because, you know, He's Pop. Um, what's the swirly? That sounds delicious. Oh, it's great. I'll order you one, order you up one right now. I'll, I'll swirl it with sprinkles, please. <laughs> sprinkles as a dog, as a dog and a treat. Aww. You not you can get your swirly dipped too. Why don't you pick on someone your own size? Because I'm literally the biggest person at this school. There's at that there is that horse that Colonel Sander rides to school. But who would dare pick a pick on such a gentle and beautiful creature? You've got some there's a nerve, Rocket and Coon, suggesting I pick on a defenseless horse. Now you're just twisting my words, and I won't have it. <laughs> you clench your fist, but you injure. But the injury from yesterday's mixture incident makes you wince with pain. Doesn't look. Doesn't look like you can go and on cooking like that. Might as well just give up. 
I'll never give up, if ever. Colonel Sanders arrives. Just as it appears things were are close to boiling over, a naturally intuitive person, he senses that something has been going on. Is everyone is everyone excited for the final day of school? Rocker D. Coon, how's that hand feeling? I'm sure you'll be back in fighting form after this. <gasps> aren't, aren't, you, aren't you concerned about my hands, Colonel? Yesterday I almost broke a nail winning so hard. Technically, I don't believe a winner was decided. But your presentation was quite impressive. What is he, is he doing complimenting her? Hmm. But what about the flavor of my delicate, warm, gooey chocolate sauce? It was clear that you're passionate about how your food is received. That's a lot of words to say it was bland. Excuse me, Rockety Coon. I am more than capable enough to speak for myself. <gasps> Maybe you could t tell me more on your thoughts as we walk into class, Colonel. I'm always interested in discussing the fine art of fine food. See you inside, Rockety Coon. Annoyed by Colonel Sanders' inability to see Ashley for who you know she is, really is. You walk across the quad to get some distance. In an attempt to distract yourself from how sl slighted you feel by the by that interaction with Ashley, you take out the spell book you re recovered yesterday and start flipping through the pages. Wow, that's the what's yeah, that's that book. It looks it's like bad news. It's just something I found laying around. I would uh, uh, it would appear to be some sort of gr grimoire but I don't really believe in that magic stuff a grimoire like a book book of spells I don't know you should spend so much who, uh, who would who would spend so much time decorating a spell book magic book if it weren't really powerful I can think of one surefire way to find out. You open a page covered with arcane warnings. Cast only in case of extreme emergency. It says around the edges of the pages. I could use this spell here that says it will erase anyone I choose from all of my memories. If I scroll about Colonel Sanders, it would probably help me focus better on the upcoming final exam. That is, is a way drastic. Couldn't you do something else, like uh, anything else, not rooted in dark magic? Maybe tie a string around your finger? Okay, fine. It is drastic, but desperate times call for desperate measures. You've got a memory erasing spell. Sit sitting right in front of you and a pretty good excuse to try it on uh, a, I'm not gonna do it I, I know it's not gonna, it's not gonna be really good you take your friend's advice and put the book away it's almost time for class sprinkles is already in the room waiting for the students to arrive he clears his voice to make a quick announcement. I want you all to know I feel something of a dog moment coming on, but I assure you it's nothing to be afraid of. His cute little nose scrunches up and he begins to breathe quickly. You must be hungry. Reach for some old homework to give him as a snack. Dogs can rather unpredictably can be rather unpredictable, especially Sprinkles. Wait, wait to see what happens. Um, Sprinkles stops in his tracks. He focuses in on the window. The room is deadly silent. When you follow his gaze, 
you see a tiny orange squirrel perched on the cherry tree outside. Sprinkles turns feral and runs out, runs through the window of the classroom. He begins barking uncontrollably at the squirrel outside. Terrence, I told you never to come back here. Terrence, I will destroy you, Terrence. Sprinkles is barking furiously. Drool is flying off his face. The squirrel looks over, but he doesn't say anything back. You wonder, is that even a talking squirrel who named him Terrence? Who named him Terrence? You'd better not show your chubby cheeks around here ever again. After Sprinkles is satisfied that his presence has been felt by not only Terrence, but any other squirrel is hearing distance. He returns to his professional tone. Ahem. I apologize for the outburst. This actually brings up an important point. Thank you, Rocket Coon, for reminding me to auto out this in indispensable bit of wisdom. You see, but before he can go any further, Miriam's love drama spills over in into the class. Sprinkle is interrupted by, by sad whimpering coming from the back of the room. I told you to save it for, for class after class. But I must go. We went on it one day, Pop. And how can you miss me when I'm right here? Pop's voice quivers as he pleads his case to Miriam. Every time I blink, you go away again. That's a really cute thing to say, Miriam. What happened between you and Bob? I got, I got her in trouble, and now she, she's mad at me. Didn't, I didn't just get in trouble. I got yelled at by Pop's mother, who blamed me for it getting him banned from every museum he set foot in. Oh, so that's what you meant by shush room, shush house. Pop, we just went on one date. We're over. And it meant so much to me that I made this for you. What in God's name is that? To her to go on arguing, Pop leaves his uh, creation behind and runs out the room. Nothing like a loud public breakup to cast a pal over the final day of school. Well, that was unfortunate. But we mustn't be distracted from so what lies ahead. The final competition showdown challenge exam. I'm still working on the title. But I think you get it. Test time approaches. See you all in the arena. But before you can think about your upcoming competition, there's a very beautiful soul nearby in need of a pep talk. Uh, but guys, I think I'm going to leave it off here. If you like the video, leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe if you're new. Turn on bell notifications to, say, to know when I upload every, every time. Follow me on my social medias. The links to them in the are in the description down below. Also, to my other channels are there. Go subscribe to them. Uh, until then, keep on watching and keep on rocking. Later. If I bleed tonight, if I am sad tonight.